Hey everybody, uh, so today what I want to do is show you how easy it is to work with and create inspections in Balif's new machine vision cockpit software. So uh, this is the dashboard that we're going to be working with and uh, let's look at the screens that are available to us. So this first screen, if I click the drop down, I can monitor existing inspections. Then I can configure new inspections and then finally, I can look at all the juicy data that an inspection provides to me. So we don't have any inspections in here, so let's create one. So I go to configure, I click that. The first thing I'm gonna do is click the wrench on the setup camera. And uh, this first section here allows me to pick the camera that I wanna work with. If I had multiple connected, then I should see multiple here. If I added one, I can click refresh and that should pop up. So once I have my camera selected, I'm going to pick my images. So you can select the images that you want to uh, import with this first button, and that's going to take you to a local file or whatever directory you want to work with. I've already done that, so I'm just going to click Select Images, and I can go in here and pick the particular images I want to work with. So I save these locally, and they can be JPEGs, you know, PNG files, .bmp. And then if I don't see it, click refresh, and then my images should pop up and be selected. So once I select all my images, I can cycle through and see if they've been imported properly by clicking this play button at the top to run once. So let's see what we've got here. All right. So you saw with uh, the different uh, images that I'm working with a bottle cap and a bottle. And uh, ideally, I have it seated at this particular height. If I look at some of the other ones, either it's not seated properly or it's not seated low enough. So this is the image I want to work with. So I've got the images I need. The next step is to pick my reference image. So the first tool I use is get image. Again, I want to go and make sure I pick the image that I want to use. So that's essentially all that tool is for, is picking the image that I want to do the inspection on. The next tool that I'm going to click is, and then you can see we have a lot of options here, checking focus, brightness, color, codes. I'm gonna choose find object. So find object is essentially a pattern match tool. So with all of these tools, you're gonna to see this little wizard icon and that's basically saying it's going to run you through the process, keep it short and sweet. And on the right hand side, if there's any questions, I can just read along with the manual. So the first thing I'm going to do is click this right arrow and it allows me to name my object that I'm going to be looking for. So I'm going to name it cap seating. All right, click the right arrow. I'm done there. The next thing I'm going to do is define my background. So we've got a really good image with a lot of contrast between our uh, item we're inspecting and the background. So I'm not going to worry about this, but you can make adjustments there. So I'm just going to click capture and I'm not worried about the position because you saw those bottles were consistently in the same location. So I'm going to leave that the same as well and click capture. All right. So we see our green window and essentially that is what we are inspecting with our camera. So this might work, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to optimize the inspection window to uh, shorten the processing time and look at just the features we need. So I'm going to click delete mask and I've got a little paintbrush here. So I can change the way that I um, draw my inspection but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this here and I'm just going to paint the area that I want to inspect. So you saw that the height of this cap changed each time we cycled through so this should ideally give me a variation between all the different options. So I've selected my mask. I'm going to click the right arrow to go next. All right, so you can see it's very faint, but there is a sharp green defined edge. So it looks like we've captured a good inspection. If that wasn't ideal, I could always go back and make some adjustments until I was happy with my inspection. So I'm going to click the right arrow here. And I don't need to worry about a reference point because, again, this is a you know, pretty stagnant operation. So I'm just going to click Finish Wizard. And we should be good. So looking down at the results page at the bottom, I see uh, my tool processing was successful. 
I got to see how long it took for, to inspect this image. It only found one object. That's good. That one edge I was looking for. It named it what I named it. That's good too. So the, uh, the most important thing here is what was the result? So the degree of match was 99%. So that's good. My nominal. I'm going to set what I'm looking for to be, I want to see 100% match. So I see 99, but I'm going to be okay with uh, as long as we have somewhere within, say, let's do, let's do 9, 9%, not 19. So as long as I'm at uh, a 91% or higher degree of match, I know that this image should be good. So let's see how that works for the rest of our images. So I'm going to click run once to cycle through. All right, so our first image, it failed. It only was a 79% match. And you can see the window is red. If I scroll up, the tool failed. So let's see how the rest of them perform. Definitely didn't work for the bottle cap that's missing. 0% match. But here is an interesting one. So we're very close to the threshold, but just not quite there. So we're at 89%. We're looking for at least 91. And you can also see that the image, it gives you a red outline of what it was expecting versus what it got. So you can see that uh, it's just a little too high. And that's why that there's some gap between the shoulder and the red line. Here, image is even worse. It's more pronounced, lower degree of match. And finally, even worse, same story. I cycle back through to my original image and we're good to go. So hopefully that was a, a pretty uh, simple process to follow. Uh, the whole purpose being, you know, you don't need to be an expert to work with this software. It's very easy to use. And again, it comes with the camera and ties in with a lot of existing uh, controls and architectures. So until next time, uh, goodbye and thanks for watching.